Lloyd 212 and I'm reviewing Amazing Spider-Man number 28. Okay, so we have the Sinister Syndicate led by female Beetle that is dating Randy Robertson, which is Robbie Robertson from the Daily Bugles. Um, I believe it's his son. So we have uh, their relationship is, is getting serious, but he finds out that she was responsible for Aunt May almost getting killed and the feast center getting messed up and all these things. And he wants her to turn over a new leaf. He's threatening to leave her. Um, and Spider-Man's witnessing all this. Uh, so she decides to leave. Um, and basically the Kingpin is working with the Sinister Syndicate. She's double crossing everybody, um, even her own team. Um, and the deal that she had was that their team would become a like special police force of supervillains for the Kingpin. Um, but Boomerang sees through her plan. They have him captured. He, he exposes her to the group. Um, and then right before she wants to kill him, he shows her why she should let him go. Some type of mysterious papers. Um, and she agrees. Uh, and they decide to assist Spider-Man who is actually battling the Kingpin's uh, police because the Kingpin said that Spider-Man is uh, hypnotized or something. And, of course, he's the mayor of New York City. So a lot of craziness going on. Spider-Man takes um, Boomerang out of there with the assist of the Sinister Syndicate, but he threatens the Beetle that if she kills anybody, he's going to tell her boyfriend. Um, and she wands up because she's a lawyer, uses her skills to make it that Aunt May's fee center is rebuilt um, through Congress or whatever because she said she'll sue the city and all this stuff. So we got supervillains that are, like, working, doing good things. It's the weirdest storyline ever, but the Kingpin wants the boomerang for some reason. He has some mysterious thing. I'm having a feeling that it's going to tie in with something to do with, like, Into the Spider-Verse. I think they're going to use that, that... The Kingpin wants to, like, you know, see his wife and his kid from another universe. I have a feeling that's what the case is. Um, and I think it's also tied with Kindred and Mysterio. There's a lot of stuff going on that's going to be really deep with this storyline. I could be wrong, but um, I thought it was, it was it was a lot of different twists and turns. But I thought it was pretty good. Um, I, I liked it. So, great job, Nick Spencer. All right, guys. Have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.